we did set up a training camp in Geneva. Obviously, uh, uh, he's been a great mentor and, and help. Uh, I think that he has an amazing sort of intuitive feel for the, for the game. Uh, you know, what Kramnik, uh, who he accuses and, and what methods he uses, that, that's his business, not mine. I, I do think that Hikaru, uh, you know, has, has made a lot of false accusations and he should be held to the same standard uh, as Kramnik. So there will be the story about Anand and how Vichy was an extremely fast, rapid player. Yeah, with them, I think I'll have some camps with Kramnik. Uh. <laughs> to one of my last two questions, Hans, one specific, one more philosophical. I want to ask you about Kramnik. Obviously, a uh, contentious figure, as uh, Levy pointed out, Hikaru had some choice things to say about him. Now, uh, Kramnik, he started his campaign against cheating with a video about you that I think he since deleted, where he expressed some suspicions about a game that you played. Now, everybody has said things that they take back. I'm not trying to reopen old wounds. Um, but I have sort of two questions, and you can answer either or neither. The first is, you, sh you have to admit that most chess players, most independent chess players, do very strongly disagree with a lot of Kramnik's assertions, his methods, a lot of his accusations. Um, I can speak to that personally. Um, what would you say to his sort of anti-cheating uh, allegations, and do you agree with his general approach? And on a second note, what do you find impressive about Kramnik? Can you share a little bit of what Kramnik has taught you about chess, perhaps about life, and what do you think is misunderstood by the chess public at large about Vladimir Kramnik? Yeah, well, uh, I obviously have been a, a victim of false accusations, so I'm probably the least accusatory and the most sympathetic to false accusations, right? So I, I certainly, you know, what Kramnik, uh, who he accuses and, and what methods he uses, that, that's his business, not mine. Um, when he did, let's say, accuse me or, or simply ask a question, uh, I, I more so think that um, Kremnik has an issue with, um, you know, certain... I think that for him, when he poses certain questions, it's simply that he wants things to be properly investigated. And that's perhaps his perspective. Maybe, maybe I'm, I'm but interpreting. But do you see how people can think? No, I, I certainly heavily insinuating I, that like the majority of GMs are cheating. Yeah, you know, the, the thing is, you know, my experience with with Kramnik, uh, obviously, uh, I reacted to to his video in a certain way, and I reacted with diplomacy and I reacted with with respect. And and after we did set up a training camp in Geneva, obviously, uh, uh, he's been a great mentor and, and help, but. You know, in terms of his cheating accusations, I, I, you know, I'm probably the last person to accuse anyone of cheating. I, 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 it's like I'm probably the least paranoid of them all because for me, I, I could never <laughs> imagine myself doing anything, so then I would assume that no one else would. So uh, people might find that ironic, but that's, that's the reality. Um, I, I do think that certain accusations, obviously, I don't agree with, but um, I do think that, you know, I, I, again, uh, I, I have no interest in continuing unnecessary strife with, with large chess organizations. I hope that you might, you know, <laughs> I recognize that it's, it's in the best interest of myself and chess to not, you know, uh, extend uh, certain arguments. Uh, so, but, you know, I think that um, people have opinions. Certain things go too far, but he's entitled to his opinion. And, you know, unfortunately, there are many other players who also accuse people falsely, and I don't think they've been held to the same standard. I know I've just lost Hikaru, and uh, much respect to him, but I, I, I do think that Hikaru, uh, you know, has, has made a lot of false accusations, and he should be held to the same standard uh, as Kramnik. So I think everyone's accusations should be met with fact and, and should be provide evidence. If you don't provide evidence, then, then you shouldn't speak it, you know, because they're so, they're so damaging. But um, you asked me what he taught me, or sorry, repeat the last part. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm not asking you to, to name the specific anti-Berlin line that came from Kramnik's chess base file, but you've also pointed out that his influence extends past, you know, very specific chess things into life. Can you offer a bit of an insight into what you think makes him as wise as he is and some of the Im ways that he's impacted your approach to chess and yeah, life? Yeah, well, I was actually speaking to him in between games uh, in this match, not yesterday. Um, I would say that... Um, um, I think that he has an amazing sort of intuitive feel for the for the game. Uh, he, he 
he, he came to uh, a, a rapid match in, in Paris against Bakro and he watched uh, one game and he immediately pointed out how you know, I was playing too quickly, I need to pause. He told me this story about Anand and how Vichy was an extremely fast rapid player. But what made him so dangerous was that he knew uh, the exact moment to pause. And he explained that rapid uh, is, is all about knowing when to pause, when to think, and uh, playing quite fast can be quite effective. But if you don't pause at the, the critical moment, then it's, it's just a waste. So, you know, those types of experiences. And, and he, uh, you know, uh, uh, since I do not have many, let's say, supporters or, or friends or, or even sponsors in the chess world, it's nice to have someone uh, with so much experience and such a legend of the game uh, to believe in you. So I would say that, that those are the main uh, ways that he's uh, helped. Do you wish that he would shift his focus in his public facing statements from what he's doing now to offering his chess wisdom? Do you regret that he has the reputation, which I would argue is perhaps not well earned in terms of any hate, which should be disparaged, but in terms of people's objective assessment of the majority of his statements, do you wish that he would shift his focus and offer some of that wisdom to the world? Well, I, he's coaching the Uzbekistan team, so I guess he's offering some wisdom. Uh, I, I do think that it's important for there to be um, not just to be one consensus. And in the chess world, there is often one consensus. And I think we should welcome challenging voices. Uh, however, you know, uh, che cheating accusations are a very serious thing and have a serious detrimental effect, uh, impact on, on people's careers. So um, perhaps, you know, it's not my job to, to judge, uh, or, but he could certainly be more diplomatic, uh, as can I. But uh, sometimes when you uh, or, or believe in something, uh, you are not as diplomatic as you should be, um, which in some cases is necessary, in some cases it's not. Um, but um, uh, I'm, he has a lot of wisdom to bestow, and um, I think he has the right um, intentions, but uh, I guess Oh, it's, it's for the people to decide, not me.